It's Martin outside the Etihad, Manchester City 1, Spurs 2, and with Barnaby from Spurred on, happy with that? Well, I have to say, I've just come from round the corner with the uh, Spurs fans, and I've been a Spurs fan for 25, 26 years. I've got to say, no, no Spurs fan in my lifetime has ever had the belief that we now have. We've got a team of young players who will fight for each other to the death. There are no superstars, there's nobody on a couple of hundred grand a week, just walking about they all want it it wasn't the cleanest or best performance by either side i didn't think and maybe a draw would have been a fair result at the end of the day but they worked their nuts off and because of that i think they deserved that winner and it was a beautiful through ball from eric lamella who i've given stick in my time but he came on and he made the difference so fair play to him i thought with you guys that was as good i, I don't know you know what you guys have been saying on your fan cams or whatever but i thought i've seen you quite a lot in the last couple of months i thought that was as good as i'd seen you play for a while i thought Vince was brilliant. Obviously, his leadership is huge for you. And, uh, you know, I thought it was an, an OK performance by both teams. But in the end, obviously, delighted. Penalty? I, I've only heard from Twitter, Red White, seen on Twitter, apparently hit him in the armpit. Probably not what I'd say about that. Mark Clattenburg, always desperate to be the most famous man on the pitch. He did the same thing. I thought he was getting every, every decision wrong, both sides. Uh, I can totally see why you'd be pissed off, to be honest, because because you can't, the handball rule is a joke, to be totally honest with you. They, they should change it to, if it hits your hand, it's a foul, that's it. Because otherwise it's too much up for interpretation. It's him in the armpit, of course it's not a penalty, that's ridiculous. But, you know, Clattenburg, you know, he's got previous in doing this, and that, you know, I feel for you on that front. But, you know, I'm glad that it was won with a, with a really excellent goal. In terms of that, now you feel that you can kick on and win the league? Well, we're two points behind Leicester. Our goal difference is far superior to everybody else, so that basically counts as a point. Never in my lifetime have I said that about Spurs having a good goal difference. We never have. And um, we've got Swansea at home next. We've got some hard matches, but most of them are at home. And I have to say, I think it suits us better when we play teams who come at us like that. We sometimes struggle against teams who play 11 men behind the ball. Today you were coming at, you were letting, soaking it up and then counter-attacking and then we was, had space on the transition. I think when we play your United, uh, we've got Liverpool still, Chelsea still, I think it'll suit us and I think we can get results in those games. I think it'll all, this season, this Premier League title will all come down to how those top three or four teams play against the teams that put 11 men behind the ball and try and stack it up for a draw. Whoever ekes out the most results in those games, I think, will win it. And we're in with a shot. That's all I'm going to say. We're in with a shot. Fair play to you. Barnaby from Spurred On, Blue Moon Rising TV. Subscribe below.